So we watched Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom last night. Oh, nice. Yeah. My first time watching, and I saw Amrish Puri doing the Kalima. Yes. <laughs> yes. Legendary. That's... So she had, she watched Raiders a few days ago. She had never seen it, and then we watched that because the, obviously the new ones the new ones coming out. But yeah, I just thought there's got to be a, a a porno somewhere called Indiana Jones and the Temple of Poon. <laughs> wow. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rexical Corbin. Indrani. I'm Harrison Ford. Oh, no. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for Patreon. Follow us account. Subscribe to the like button. Today we are on to part thrice. Thrice. She's once, twice, three times a lady. Thrice. Uh, she also watched Shrek for the first time. What the? She had never seen Shrek before. It's an American classic. She loved it. How oh, can you not? Those are, I'm those a are disgrace. Those are fantastic yeah. animated, animated films. Great uh, <laughs> stuff. We're on to Rendezvous uh, with a Z uh, with Simi Gurwal. Gurewal. Gurewal. Uh, and Rekha. Is she still around? Who? Simi? Yes. No. Oh, what's she doing now? She has a valley I named after her. I don't know. She does. Yeah. She does. Um, is she still doing interviews with breathy voices? <laughs> no, not anymore. Um, I wish she did. I really synth. loved this uh, interview, huh? Yeah, and cheesy synthesizers the, uh, for her theme song. It's she, not cheesy. Do you know the uh, in in Lord of the Rings? Um, Who's um, Aeros- Gandalf the Grey Wolf? No, a- Aerosmith's daughter. What's her face? Uh, Aerosmith's daughter. Do- oh, Stephen yes, daughter. Lily. Whoever. Yeah. Uh, her, she's known for being extremely breathy in that movie. Like everything is. <gasps> oh. Watch it again. You'll, that's all you'll hear. Really? She just everything she says is. Oh, it's true oh, because she's, she's half whispering most of the time oh, and talking well. in slow motion. Yeah. And <laughs> my wife pointed out to me years because ago. Because you have to go to the shy. That's the entire interview. Yeah. <laughs> it's that breathy kind of voice. I've, I've heard worse, and it really yeah. bothers me. Yeah. Anyways, so if you haven't seen the first two parts, please go check those out. Uh, those are already out. Uh, and this is part thrice. And here we go. Oh, what? Why did you just go in the middle of the goddamn interview, you cunt? Here we go. Shah Rukh Khan is still messing with my hair. What key is that, Rick? What key? It's a D. Oh, wow. In 1990, you it's took sad. another gamble for happiness again when you married Mukesh Agarwal. God rest his soul. Oh. I knew him. But I still want to know how could two such different people get together? Well, we know the first couple, that's for sure. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. But how? Destiny. How, Destiny. How did it happen? Difference is also a track I, a lot of times, so that... Don't think it's really important to talk about how it happened, how did we meet, who introduced us, where did it happen, how did we get married. These are irrelevant. Of course, one went through the initial, you know, uh, you know, feel of, okay, marriage, you know, mm. okay, it was the right time, or so one thought. We went through it. But what's important is, the lessons that I've learned from that episode, mm. from that marriage, that's most important. That was the time I really, really grew up. I became the woman of the world. It was, as morbid as it sounds, it is the best thing that ever happened to me. Because I got a crash course of what people are all about, who my friends were, who my foes were, but every so-called pain that I went through and so-called questions that arose in my mind. They just went inside me and I became the person that I'm truly proud to be today. Was it an arranged marriage? Yeah, in a way it was arranged marriage. It wasn't love, that's for sure. Yeah. And you'd only met him once? Yeah, true. So you actually married a stranger? Essentially speaking. Yeah. That's a risk. Life is a risk. But you know, we who knew you both. That's a t-shirt. <laughs> knew that this, this can never work out. Really? Why didn't you say something? I did. Why didn't you call me? I did. 
You wouldn't even know you'd marry That was very Mae West. Why didn't you come? Where did you you realize? I didn't realize anything before I said the name complete. It was all over. Mm. All over. Certain incidents happen to you, Simi, in life that you have absolutely no control of. Having said that, yes, the decision is mine. Yeah. Ultimately, I didn't say my name. But somehow there is... You don't consciously want to hurt anybody. No. You don't consciously try to, unless you're, you know, destructive by nature. Mm. But things happen and amazingly, it's all choreographed by someone up there. And sometimes you get this feeling, I, I, I often get it, that uh, I get this surreal experience that this is not me. It's not even happening to me. Someone else. You know, but then sometimes that one small thing can have a profound effect in your life, and that did. Rika, some months later, when, when he committed suicide. Oh, jeez. You know, one, to, one went through the entire, you know, I mean, the whole gamut of feelings, you know, the initial shock and, and then denial. And, yeah. You know, okay, no, this can't be really happening to me. And, and of course, you know, later on, you, this intense anger. And, yeah. and then you go into the self-pity trip, hey, what did I do wrong? I never hurt it. I never meant to hurt anybody or whatever. You know, the typical jihuta. And then, then trying to understand it in vain, of course, you never really understand it. And then, finally, of course, acceptance. But the point is, after that incident, it was your silence, Rika, that people didn't understand. I spoke to very few people. Yeah. I'm basically, by nature, very shy. Mm. But having said that, I've come a whole circle or a million circles yeah. that I'm much more mature now, that I can talk, and I can talk about things which I never thought in my wildest of dreams, or even I didn't have the courage to talk about things. But 14 years had passed since that tragedy. How have you dealt with this? I think to the best of my abilities. One doesn't deal with anything. It deals with you. Yeah. You know, the incident deals with you. But if you allow it to deal with you in a negative way, so be it. But you always have the choice. Mm. You're human, Simi. You can fall. Balki mein to itna kahungi, ekdam yakin ke saath ki. There will definitely be the gift of pain, trials, tribulations, confusion, misunderstanding, devastation, not to mention natural calamities. That is for sure like death itself. Everyone's life. You know? But it is up to you, and I repeat, you and only you, to pick it up, to take it inside you. To befriend it. Said. Very say, difficult. It, who said life was easy? Life's it tough. Get a helmet. It is much interesting when something is not given to you in a, a platter. A lot of t-shirt statements you know? on this. I want the platter. I don't think so. Well, you are you, Simi. <laughs> I am me. Yeah. In my case, because I've been trained that way. Do they like you each other? Said, <laughs> so I don't I said, know. Do they like everybody. each other? But how come one has never heard? I can't tell sometimes. Rika's on a drinking binge, or Rika's on drugs, or Rika, I never. You kept yourself very clean. Of course, How I have been on drinking binges. Of course, I've been on drugs. I've been very impure. What kind? I've been lusting like hell. Ooh. Ask me with what? Ooh, please. With life. Oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. Very funny. <laughs> His name's Woody. <laughs> I've been lusting, Rika. <laughs> Stop it. Anne Hathaway? No. Uh. You gonna get married again? You wish. Are <laughs> 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 you <by> yourself? <laughs> well, are you planning to? No. Why? See, to begin with, that's another show. If you want to talk about marriage, then my... Uh, my no, I don't want... I won't make it another show. I want in this show... You're so sick and tired of me that you will not ask me to do another show. <laughs> I'd love you to come back. Maybe with your husband. <laughs> that oh word is very really alien. Like, yeah. as, as <laughs> alien as father. It hurts, doesn't it? Ouch. Husband. No. 
Um, Imagine somebody saying that now. I would like to be married <laughs> to life and saying the an actress okay, like you could no. go back with your <laughs> husband. I'm already married to so many things. Married to a guy, maybe an exception. Is he talking about the superficial thing? No, I'm talking, I'm about, talking about the real thing. thing. You're talking well, about. Well, she had okay, said earlier, a woman becomes strong because of a man. Yeah. Is married to myself. I'm married we were to a profession. different breed back in the day. I'm married to my uh, my loved ones, but not to a guy. And who started this thing called marriage anyway? It's not God. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, really, what is this all about? Okay. Are you planning to get married again? Seems no. I think she already answered that. I'm pretty sure she said well, no. not a woman, obviously. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't be homophobic, um, see me. I don't think so. You don't think so? God. Let's be realistic here. Okay. okay you don't have a serious <laughs> enough expression on your face. Don't be serious. I like the playfulness coming out. Serious? Real, I'm a serious okay, very guy. serious. Okay. I'm not a cynical person. And I am. nothing is forever. So... Anything can Taxes. happen. Taxes. You kept the door open. <laughs> Chalo, that's okay. What are you doing? You're picking for me. You never or know. Rondo. Huh? You never know. Kibaya, koi bhi hai to please. <laughs> She's. You never. Her heart know. is open. I, you know, I'm pretty good at matchmaking. Are you really? Yeah. So are you? And um, now you're telling me. Anyway, it was the last time we ever talked about this. <laughs> you said, never, never, never. I don't want to get married again. She said I it like twice now. It was a few months back. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm involving next moment. Tomorrow I'll be a different person. <laughs> Any regrets about not having children? Not at all. Oh, not word. at all. And you took his job away. Because... Did you um, say fuck them kids? At one time, yes. <laughs> I was not regretting, but I used to yearn and I had no clue what was happening to me. You know, my friend Neetu and Yogita Bali and all my friends. All having babies. They're all babies and I love babies. <laughs> <laughs> that whole the body idea I want to see more of that you know, playful side. I, there's a bunch of it in there, I know it. And one ladu and one glow on the face and everything. And I was like, I want to do that too. <laughs> the <laughs> but baby you don't have to ha give birth to a baby to be a mother. If you uh, were on a street and you saw a baby in a pram, mm -hmm. And a puppy mm. on the other side of the street. Mm. So are you drawn to the puppy or the baby? Really speaking, today I'm drawn to the puppy. Puppy? I knew it. Yeah. Fuck them kids. Yeah, you know that side of me. Mm. Yeah, you do. Before uh, Pisti, I had no idea. Oh, I've got something I must show you. What? A little surprise. Okay. <laughs> Who's what that? the fuck? <laughs> oh, my baby. Oh my baby! Oh my John! <laughs> is that her doggy she used to own? Oh my! Is she a cutie? Adorable. Can is this you a movie? This to me? I, I don't know. Yeah, must have been her her dog. <laughs> Do you notice the re resemblance? She looks just like you. She does, huh? <laughs> oh, she's too beautiful. <laughs> oh my John! <laughs> 90s were a lawless time. Oh my god. Oh my baby. She was exactly like him. She's she's crying. I'm sorry. Oh, geez, oh, of course. Baby, sorry. I'm so, no, don't be sorry. She's a it's deep okay. person. Oh, she can't so, Could you give me a copy of that? This has top. Sorry. Oh, she is so adorable. <laughs> she, she's so alive. She was exactly like that, you know? Yeah. Exactly. Actually, I'm going baby. to hell. My god. <laughs> oh, I wanted to share this. You never. You, Horrible, horrible woman. I'll give it to you. Thank you. That would be amazing. So, was that a movie or is that like a home video? So I think it was a home Shiva. video. Yeah, I have Shiva, who was the last I have. So, little baby. So the name is Shiva? Before Shiva, I had uh, yeah, yeah. Mayu. And the destroyer? Like long little baby, so sweet with all eyes and, you know, like. The baby voice comes out whenever she's talking about a dog. Eyes. The baritone voice. Those eyes? I, it looks familiar when you did this. Does it? Looks like Shiva. Shiva's eyes are like that. No, it looks like somebody else. Okay. What? You know what it is. <laughs> what you know what it is. I think I do too. So, anyway, that's another show. Okay. Uh, but this guy, what I was that? What was that reference? I he was, oh? Yeah, he's sick and That's a bit uh, yeah. wicked. <laughs> no. Not Mukadar, just Sikandar. No. Alexander the Great. Oh, uh, okay. You know what I mean? And then I have Tiger. Now, why do people say that you become a recluse? Because what? you don't meet people, you don't entertain, you don't socialize, you don't have people over. Not everybody likes people. Do you <laughs> you do seem to Me and Rekha would get along. Life. I don't think so. I do not know any person who is more privileged and who is luckier than I am. To be alone. No. Who said I to was alone? alone? To be able to have the 
the independence of being able to make my own choices, to get up and go and do exactly what I want, who I want to meet, where I want to go. Damn straight, woman. Which party I go, which party I don't go, yes. who I invite over. Everything is in my hands. Okay, fine. And it's become a way of life, but, but there are reasons. I didn't plan it this way. Mm. Her follow-up question is going to be, but you don't have a husband. Mm. <laughs> I didn't plan to go and live in that house alone. It so happened, it the fact say, the screenplay had, that in the interval, my daughter will marry my daughter. Baki pur, dusri bank ki shaadi hogi. They went into their bankies, I mean, uh, into their sasurals. So, and talk about friends, yes, I do have uh, friends I'm that I can count on my fingertips. My mother used to say, if you have one friend in your lifetime, you are blessed, truly blessed. Two is you're lucky. Three is hardly possible. <laughs> <laughs> you have Farzana, more than a sister. She's more than a mother in that sense. She's everything, everything, absolutely everything. Talk about soulmates, she is oh, more than that. She's been... Uh, it seems forever. A um, yeah. um, couple of decades, I guess. So loyal. Yeah, and effortlessly devoted. A living example is something, you know? Very lucky. Mm, very, very blessed, absolutely. There used to be so much fun. <laughs> Excuse me, say yes. that again. <laughs> say that again, I'm out of here. You used, used to, to be, did you say? Oh, yes, it was so much fun. I remember when oh you God. would entertain me <laughs> after the whole day. I will do that. But yeah. I, I, do you still do it? Try me, baby. I'm trying Ooh. already. Okay. Oh, God Even damn. I haven't entertained you. I'm so far, that's fine. It's not entertain me. <gasps> entertain me. Dance, you monkey. First, I want you to just do me one mimicry. You could do better than that than to ask me for a measly mimicry. Which all mangle out there, dil cheese can help me to jump. Did she just call her a Ben Trope? I think she did. So odd. <laughs> the line of questioning. <laughs> so. I wish you guys asked that to Zakir Hussain. <laughs> Do you, like, can you entertain me? Entertain me. Just entertain me. It's not. It's not bad to be a recluse, everybody. <laughs> Some people just like to be yeah, alone. If you know someone's private and they don't invite you over, it's not personal, they're private. <laughs> Get along with Reka. The survivor? You know that, Banu Reka, you were born as. She kind of looks like you there. Reka, you made yourself. As a child. First off, this what is not brown what people I look alike. <laughs> it is what all my experiences, all the so-called calamities that have been bestowed upon me and the way I dealt with it because that was my choice. Would you have done it differently? No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Not a single moment. Not a single thing in my life. Because if I then I wouldn't be the person that I am today. Exactly. Even a thing like Bisti's death, if I said she was alive, then I would have deprived myself of Shiva. You know, when you used to tell me, you have to get another one, yes. another one. I never wanted another one. You know, my nephew put him on my godi and say, okay, this is your birthday present. I never wanted to. You look so many in the eye and now I take it as a gift. Yeah. You know, I'm just thinking Life. how you've changed. I remember many years ago, I asked you about if you would do things all over again. Mm. And I remember your answer. You said, if I had to do it again, I wouldn't. Wow. Then I've really evolved. Very happy to see that. Thank you. Obviously, no more tears because tears are just so many tears I shed for my baby. I'm sorry, I didn't want that. No, don't be sorry. Like I said to you, if something has the ability to touch you other than self pity, then be grateful. And your father? How's your relationship with him now? It's wonderful. And whatever little time that I've spent with my dad in the past few years, in the recent years, they are so vivid, they are so meaningful, they are so wonderful, they are so genuine that I guess it's made up for the entire, you know, a gap which I didn't get to spend with him. When did you meet up with him? Very recently. Actually, really met when my mother died. After all this. Isn't it strange? Actually, I never thought about it. It didn't register to me. It's true. I mean, I saw him a couple of times. He used to come and uh, meet my sister. So how was it when you met him? Oh, uh, wonderful. Was it not like a stranger? No. Why? Because, you know, here's a man you've spent a lifetime about. Let me tell you this. Everything that one has imagined and fantasized, he was all that and more. It was all here, you see. It was like with Amici. It was all in your no, mind. He, he was all that That's and right. more. As far as I'm concerned, 
I was never away from him. But you never talked to him? I did. So, have you had your fill of talking to him? Had a real conversation, you mean? With my dad? Yeah. I've always had real conversations with him. One-on-one. -on -one. You mean the worldly way? The worldly way. Darling, I've never spoken to him yet. <laughs> to your father? No. <laughs> Wait, wait, I'm so we talk <laughs> every day, but I haven't but spoken to him yet. Eyes, you know, in touch, in a smile, maybe. You don't have to I'm talk so to the person I am so to feel the person and relish the person. We don't have a conversation. You want to know the truth? This is the only time Rekha has ever had a complete conversation, ever, for the record, because she doesn't talk. She expects people to understand, especially people who care. That's very well. Now I'm just talking about between him and you. How, how, do, you, how do you relate to each other now? I think wonderfully. By, by not speaking. I told you before this, you, you don't want to talk to him? Of course I want to talk to him. Then and why I does have that spoken to him. What? I have, <laughs> but not in words. Huh. Not in words. No. Simi, you're not getting it straight. Okay, Rekha I don't think anybody has <laughs> no words, period. Okay? She communicates with every other medium but words. Too bad if somebody want to settle for something as small as words with Rekha. Because trust me, she's capable of communicating in much higher planes and many other beautiful ways, which are original only uniquely Rekha. Funny. At the Filmfare Awards, mm -hmm. the Lifetime Achievement Award, you shared the first public platform with him when you handed him the award. That's right. My God. How did you feel? I felt very, very proud. I touched his feet. And I'm not a person who, you know, um, shows my personal feelings in public either. And he neither. It was a very spontaneous... Sorry? He neither. Is that... He doesn't show his feelings. He doesn't express his feelings. Oh, he does. Trust me. Has he ever expressed his feelings to you? Oh, yeah. Always. Has he ever expressed regret to you? Never. Never, because there, there are no regrets. No, but oh, he no. missed out on, on wonderful years of your life. That you'll have to ask him. Maybe he feels that. I don't know. I really don't know. But from his behavior, I don't like that. Okay, I wish I was there for my child. And, you know, I said nothing because it, it doesn't show on his face either. Really? But I, I really think that if something that you want most, as long as you're alive, there's always a chance that it can happen in exactly the way or if not better than your fantasies. But time runs out. You know what? Time never runs out. It does. No. No. He's not a young person anymore now, Rekha. Again, you go back. It's the moments. I have got my messages. I have got my love. I've got my reassurances. Mm -hmm. I've got, oh, yeah. One look that this man really, really cares. He always did. I was right. My mother was right. I knew it. I'm so glad. Yeah. He is a hero for me. Really? Truly. I'm so glad that... You found a father and you found your own. I never lost him to find him. He always was there within me. You know, Rika, it's not the cards that one is dealt. It's how one plays the game. Hmm. In the end, I think you won. You think so? Yes, you won. Thank you. I think so too, Simi. I really think so. Now, you are not leaving, even though it's past your bedtime. Way, way um, past. It's, it's my breakfast time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but unless you sing me a song. What? You'll sing a song with me? Me? Uh, what? You will sing a song. I've seen Rondo Wozner sing. You could make Jerry sing. Make, this I'm makes sense with uh, <laughs> asking <laughs> artists that to was amazing, perform okay, for now you. Now let me make Rika sing a song. <laughs> I can't sing without a tanpura. I mean, I need some source of... It's you need a walk. Made, made all we need to start doing this at the end of our interviews. <laughs> what? We need to start doing this at the end of our interviews. Yeah. Come on. See? Trina. Trina. Dance, monkey, dance! <laughs> Did they just get a tempora? Was <laughs> she known for her voice at all? No. 
Then why she wanted to sing? The reverb. seem like she died. <laughs> it's like the in memoriam at the Oscars. All of our interviews now. Now, no matter who they are, now the interview is done. Sing, Sing for us, please on Skype. <laughs> it's it's very fitting for uh, an Indian interview, though. Like the amount of times that we've just been told that, like, or or in our interviews, we, we interview you know the great singers that we've interviewed so far. Everybody's like, you should have had them sing. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not gonna have him sing on Skype with a Skype mic, and but apparently people do. She has very interesting ways of looking at stuff and talking about it. She is. She has. She's Sherlock, man. She has a palace in her own mind mm. that she has created for herself that has become object of reality through mm. pure subjective impression, yeah. and she has actually brought about the healing of broken relationships through thought. Without the other person being included, well, I, I hope I hope she yeah. feels closure in those relationships. Yeah, maybe from abandon, uh, uh, yeah, dad abandoned her. It comes from abandonment issues that yeah, then it just it's a coping mechanism, mm-hmm. I guess, and it becomes uh, that. Um, I don't want this to be a psychological analyst analysis session, but uh, I guess people become you know in their. Minds and the fantasy land. Well, especially being a star like she is, and mm. really not being able to talk or trust most people, and also oh, yes. s- seeming like a very introverted mm-hmm. person who does not share personal things. Mm. Which mm, yeah, I like because to. people twist. The, she was hated so much at one point, and then um, because of yeah. the Amitabh. Yeah, that yeah. and. Uh, People blamed her for her husband's suicide, uh, uh, telling her that she's a witch. You know, all the men die or something happens to them because Rekha comes along. That's what, you know, the stupid people. Yeah. Well, they're not worthy of Rekha. Yeah. Maybe she's a witch. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Witches are cool. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, and some of the more wild stuff, I mean, way more. The thing I appreciate about appreciate about Reka is I think she's as genuine as she's I think she's trying to be as genuine as she can possibly be and it matters to her she's really selective with the words that she uses when she's describing things and really clarifying if you ask a question she will immediately not let it slip and some of the questions she was being asked and some of the statements that were counters to her clarifications were really strange. They were very patriarchal. Yeah. They were very, uh, yeah. you know, how how did you get strength without a man? How can you live life without being married? Yeah. It's very yeah of the time yeah and how people conducted interviews yeah. I've, I've sure, if you go back, there's a bunch of compilations of Oprah saying stuff like that. Oh yeah, and, and, sure, and, Barbara and, Walters. Oh, because it's just how people thought at the you time. You bet. And you what bet. People deemed acceptable to ask somebody because they're in the public eye yeah like all these questions like people would be canceled in a heartbeat if they asked some of the questions to her yeah or said there's a lot of hollywood interviews with actresses that you see back from the 1960s oh, britney spears was oh yeah uh, it was so sad to see her in interviews where people Yo, i know I knew yes the interview yes 
making fun of her or just saying sexually questions. inappropriate yeah. yes. stuff and she was just what 17 or 16 she was just looking didn't know what to say some of the um uh answers did remind me of late interviews of Michael Jackson mm. of like he'd say something like 